We are looking at another Amazon bestseller today. Yes, this is the top selling upright vacuum. The Bissell, that's pretty big. The Bissell? The Bissell. Oh, okay. Clean view, upright, bagless vacuum. And it goes for $89.99 on Amazon. I feel like you're very short. Thanks. No, I mean, oh yeah, that works. I like that. Cleaning your house is one of the most important things that you need to do. A clean house is a clean mind and you need a vacuum for that. And this is $89, you said? $89.99. Now, it has a bunch of cool features. First off, it has a standard vacuum, but it also comes with a turbo brush tool. It also comes with a crevice cleaner, a dusting pot, a dusting suction pad, as okay. well yeah. as an extension, extending hose. So it's four vacuum type tools in one piece. And the hose stretches out to six feet, so you've got a tall ceiling, this dirt tank has a volume of two liters, so it can hold quite a bit of dirt, hair, mm -hmm. dust in your house before you have to empty it, easily empty it into the garbage. Now, one of its best features on it is this one pass feature, which we are gonna be testing. Apparently, you can just vacuum over something and not have to take a double take on it because it is so powerful. Powerful suction and innovative brush design that clears on its first pass. So let's open it up. I, I mean, I, I like vacuums, not as much as the next person, but we'll see how this goes. Oh. Did I break it? Just make sure. Another cool feature is that it has a two year warranty. So if anything happens to it, any issues with it, you can return it back worry free for two years. So here is the user guide. Yeah. Here are the, oh, okay. The Other different accessories. Different nozzles. And there's a clip there. Oh, okay, that's part of the. This is the handle. Lift, David. David, lift. I'm gonna push. I'm pushing. Here is the Bissell Clear View Vacuum. Yeah, that's not bad. It has. So it is cabled. It comes with a very large extension cable. That is a lot of cable. Its build quality is a cheap and plastic. Let's build it. I mean, it's some assembly required. But before we do that, since this is a bestseller and an Amazon choice, how many reviews do you think this got? It's a vacuum. It's a vacuum. A lot of people like vacuums. A lot of people need vacuums. I wouldn't say a lot of people like vacuums. I would say a lot of people need vacuums. Is, is a vacuum something most people would buy online? I don't know. I don't know. You know, I'm gonna go with my solid 10,000. 10,000? 10, 10,000. And of that 10,000, what percentage? Actually, no, I take it back. I'm okay. gonna go with 2,000. 2,000, yeah. and what yeah. percentage were five stars? 70, 70. 70%. Keep eyeballing these things. All right, let's build it. Yes. So, we just set it up. It didn't take too long. What did you say, about five minutes? What? Yeah, about five minutes. See? So you have to install this handle way up here, which. Nonsense. Install this handle. Yeah. There's two screws you need, so you need a Phillips screwdriver. Then you install this hose, mm -hmm. and then you ravel the cords, and then you add on the accessories. So the turbo brush is here. Yeah. The bristle brush. This is the dusting pad, and then the crevice cleaner is in the back. In the back here. Yeah. No. It uh, it it was pretty good. Nothing too complicated. Then how you remove the dust filter, Nathan, is you. Dust filter is. Oh, that's, oh, that's simple. simple. And then you, so you take that off. Yeah. And then you. Oh my god. Right into the garbage. Right on our desk. Let's make a mess and suck up some dirt. So we're gonna be using the turbo cleaner over here. We have some coffee grounds that we're gonna be throwing on the table to see how Excuse good me. this thing works. Good. It didn't pick up 100% of it. Well, this isn't the one take one. The one take is supposed to be the big one, right? Or is this supposed to be one take as well? I'm not sure. You know, maybe your technique is just off, Nathan. Give, let me let me give it a go. So, turn it on. Yep. Hit this red button here. 
Yep. I guess you do that with your foot if you're vacuuming. Yep. So we're gonna turn it on. So, nobody vacuums that slow. And two, what? it didn't clean up all of the dust, but it cleaned up probably 95% of the coffee grinds, would you say? Yeah. Like there's still some okay, residue. Let me, let, let right me try here. again, let me try again. Let, let me do a quick pass. One more time, come on. I'm ready, put me in coach. I'm ready to vacuum. Third time's a charm. Yeah. Still kind of the same. Still kind of the same. Now, we have a pretty big problem in our office. It is cold in Canada, it is the winter time, and that means your entrance to your house is filled with a lot of salt. So we're gonna be testing this out. We're gonna be going to our main entrance. We're gonna be sucking up the salt with our One Pass Wonder brush. And we're gonna see how it works. Let's do it. Here we go, this is our main entrance. It is disgusting. It's filled with a bunch of salt and grime. Oh. Oh. All right. There. Knock yourself out. Look, look at how gross this ground. Yuck. So Nathan's gonna be trying out the One Pass Wonder. See how it works. I don't know, what do you think? Are we gonna do the entire thing or just one pass at the beginning? Just one pass at the beginning. Okay, so you see how it is. You already yeah. saw it close up. <laughs> Best setting? I mean, look, okay, time out. There's more settings over here. What are these? It says bare floor or yeah. high carpet. We're in the middle. Look, it tore up some of our mat. Yeah, that's kind of weird. I don't know how it did that. Clean it up pretty well though. All the dust is gone. You can see how much dust it picked up here. Oh yeah. All that lovely salt. Very nice, very nice. Yeah, no, so I far, it went pretty not well. bad. Yeah. Wasn't one take, but it was good. All right, well, we did test it out. It was successful. You can clearly see by how much dirt there is in here. It's a fair amount of dirt. Quite a bit. It was only a minute. And it picked that up pretty quickly. That's good. Let's put that back, I don't want it. Okay, so you said right. 2,000 reviews. 2,000 reviews, 70% five star. Let's see, that was close you know, way he's off. he's always way off. Really, seriously? I thought- No, I, I said he's always way off. I thought I was pretty good with this one. But this time, He's this way, received way off. a total of 1,722 reviews with 69% five star. That's hey, almost perfect. That is almost perfect. It's a vacuum. A lot of people are gonna be upset with how bulky it is, I'm pretty sure. Stuff like that. So, we're gonna be reading now two comments, one of them being a five star most helpful review, and then a one star. Somebody who had a terrible experience. Those are always the juiciest, I feel. So, let's find out. So, this is a five star review from somebody named Jay Haller, or Haller. Haller. Title of this was, Forget Pets, Those with Long Hairs Need This Vacuum. Mmm, okay. 433 people found this helpful. Oh, I thought that was the whole review. No, no. <laughs> Have long hair? Yeah. Have you killed other vacuums with your slightly worrying amount of shedding? Then look no further. We bought the Bissell canister vacuum a year ago and it didn't take long for my long hair to just kill the little vacuum. So now he said they have this one and our apartment is actually clean because my hair is not too much for it. The bristles have grooves that prevent hair from caking on it. Okay. And it's very easy to clean it. The bristles are also adjustable so you can really get into the carpet if you want to. It's also pretty light for someone who for something so heavy duty. I also love that all the attachments stay on the vacuum, so I don't have to look around for the hand attachment. For the price, it's a great vacuum, and would really work for a place that isn't very big. 
as a cord isn't super bare, isn't super long. Now, time for a one star review. Do Ooh, you wanna read this one? Yes, of course. This is by Jessica. Jessica. 12 people found this helpful. Zero stars, broke and almost caught fire. I think most people say it almost caught fire. Two products we've looked at, almost caught fire. Seriously, awful product. It broke after the third time of using it for no reason. The motor just blew out of nowhere and started really? smoking. Wow, that's scary. What is Jessica sucking up? I, I gotta, good thing I noticed the smell of smoke before the whole thing blew up. Don't waste your money on this garbage. And their customer support is absolutely crap. Ooh, that's not good. Tired of calling to get a replacement and got nowhere. If I could give zero stars, I would. Well, another That's thing, a good review. there's a couple of things to consider. A, I don't know what she's sucking up. Usually if you suck up water, that's definitely gonna mess up the actual mechanics inside. Cause you know, it's not waterproof. Mm -hmm. The water gets into the motor, electricity, water, does a mix. That's usually what happens. Also, if you guys noticed that we actually destroyed our mat based on the settings that we were at. So she could have been using the wrong setting for maybe she was on carpet and wasn't mm -hmm. supposed to be, or maybe she was on a mat or something and wasn't supposed to be, and that's what caused the vacuum to, to overexert itself and then start on fire, maybe she said that? Definitely water, I think it's some type of liquid. So, after reading those reviews and actually trying it for ourselves, what would you give it on a scale of one to five? Four or five? I mean, it did its job really well. Like, it honestly got rid of all the dirt at our front mats, Pretty easily, you know, it's inconvenient with the cord. It's it's a bit bulky, you know, it feels like cheap plastic, but for a vacuum, it's a good vacuum. We need four stars. Four, four stars. stars. I am gonna one up that and say 4.5 out that? of five. Yeah, they do that on the things, yeah. Well, they have like the overall total, like this right now on Amazon is 4.3 out of five. Oh, okay. So I'm gonna say 4.5 out of 4 .5 five. 4.5 out of five. I really like this. I didn't like the fact that it destroyed the mat. And that's one of the issues, but that's probably user error. My yeah, error. I mean, it it was strong enough to to ruin the mat, mm -hmm. which means it can suck up pretty much anything, including water, to ruin the motor. But all in all, for only ninety dollars, I am very very happy with this vacuum. If you guys are looking for a vacuum and don't want to spend a lot of money, this should be the way to go. Yeah, look how much more we had to go before we had to empty out the tank. That's a big deal too. Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed this vacuum review. Hopefully it didn't suck. If you guys want to see us review anything, let us know in the comments below. And of course, subscribe if you're new.